Welcome to Flipping Economics. Today we're going to look at something that we call the Lorenz Curve. The Lorenz Curve is a measure of inequality in a country. So you have your axes. You have your percentage of income and your percentage of your population. 10% of the income, 20% of the income, 30% of the income, and so forth. Then you have your percentage of your population. 10% of the population, 20% of the population, 30% of the population, 40% of the population, and so on. You can draw a line here. This line represents perfect equality. This is where 50% of the population earns 50% of the income. 80% of the population earns 80% of the income. 20% of the population earns 20% of the income. This is the ideal. This never happens. You always have a measure of unequal distribution of income. It looks like something like this. For instance, 10% of the population earns about 3% of the income. 60% of the population earns about 40% of the income, where the richest 10% people in this country earns about 90 or 95% of the income. I want you to think about unequal distribution of income, like that uncle you have in your family, your dad or your grandpa, with a big stomach. The bigger the stomach, the more unhealthy, the more unequal the distribution of income. If your uncle goes on a diet, or your dad, his stomach becomes smaller. This resembles a smaller distribu uh, unequal distribution of income, where now 50% of the population earns about 40% of the 40% of the population earns about 50% of the income. This is closer to the line of perfect equality. Now, further to calculate equality is by means of something that we call the Gini coefficient. If we take this area here, we call it area A, and we take this area here, we call it area B. The Gini coefficient is calculated by taking area A divided by the sum of area A plus B. Now, the Gini coefficient, the answer will always lie between a value of zero, which indicates perfect equality, and a value of one, which indicates perfect inequality. Neither of these two will ever happen. Well, more likely that it will not happen. You will always have a country lying between a value between zero and one. For instance, South Africa's Gini coefficient is 65% or 0, 0,65. This value is closer to 1, which means that South Africa has a more unequal distribution of income. That is the Gini coefficient.